Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to explain how to create a texture pack for Minecraft on the iPad. For starters, we head to the App Store and get two apps we need for this. The first one is the Documents app by Reddle. Here it is, Documents by Reddle, which gives you some functionality that the Files app by Apple doesn't have, like zip files, for example. Then the next one is Medibang Paint. Here it is, Medibang Paint for iPad, which allows us to edit our PNG files. Then, of course, we need the textures. So we're going to Minecraft.net and Menu, Add-ons, and scroll down until we see the vanilla resource packs and behavior packs. So right now we're downloading the resource packs where you find all the textures that you find in Minecraft, the sounds and many more things. As you can see, I'm downloading it. And in the end, we are saving it onto our iPad. So we go to more and save in files to finally save it in the documents app by Reddle. We open up the app and go right into our vanilla resource pack folder where you can find many other things, many folders. Right now we're going to textures and blocks. So here we have all the block textures in Minecraft and are opening up the Acacia trapdoor. So we click on share and then pick copy to Medibang Paint. The file gets imported into Medibang Paint and there you have it. For now, we're gonna edit the stone texture. So here it is. You can make all the changes you want to create a cool texture or you just do something like this you write a dumb thing on the stone texture and after it you go to menu and select export png files there you select png and you save into files into our resource pack folder now we want to change the name back to its original name which is just stone.png there it goes. Then we want to get rid of all the files and all the folders we don't need because they would just make our texture pack a lot heavier. Anyway, if you don't have a texture for something in your pack, then the game will just apply the default vanilla texture. So we're deleting a lot of things here. Everything that is not the textures folder and then again, inside the textures folder, we're deleting everything that's not the blocks folder. Then we will also delete all the blocks textures inside the blocks folder and just add our stone texture because that's the only one that has been changed. Later on, if you make any changes to your texture pack, then you can add things again as you need them. So here I am in the blocks folder and I'm about to delete all the textures. Right here, right now. The final step is to move our stone PNG texture to the blocks folder. And this is it. We have made a texture pack, but before we can import the texture pack into Minecraft, we want to look at one other thing, which is very important, the manifest file. There are a few things to look at here. First, the name of our pack. Here, I'm just changing it to my resource pack. And then the description. We put in here something we want it to say later. And the, th the second one is not going to be visible in the game as we import it. 
Now you see these UUID numbers and they are very important. We go to the webpage uuidgenerator.net and generate two bulk version one UUID. They look like this. We now want to copy them and paste them into our manifest file. So this is the first one. Here it is. And we go for the second one right under it. And once again, copy and paste down here. Please don't skip this step because it's crucial for your texture pack to have a unique UUID. Once done, we go ahead and compress the files. We select them all, click on compress and it will create a zip file. We rename the file to whatever name we want, like res here. And then very important, we change zip into MC pack. He asks us if we really want to do it and we want to do this. So now we have a MC pack file, which we want to share to Minecraft. So we click on copy to Minecraft. And if we've done everything right, the pack will get imported without any problem, just like this. Next, we create a new world, just like this. We go to resource packs and there it is, our new resource pack. My resource pack, hello and welcome. And then, as always, you create the world. Right here, I'm gonna create a creative world just to test if everything works out. So the world is being generated here. Oh, we spawn in the water. Now we get out, open the inventory and here comes the bride, our new stone texture. And that's it. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Bye bye.